Oh, well. <laughs> Aren't you Charles Van Doren? I'm sorry, Dad, didn't mean to wake you up. Just had to get out of the city. You're always welcome, Charlie. Sometimes it's hard sleeping in the city. Uh, hope you don't mind. I took the rest of the cake. You look like you could use it. Uh, under a little strain lately. That's the way it always is when you're finishing a book. Oh, no, actually, it's the television show. Oh, Jesus, I just realized I, we watched your show. Did I tell you? Mother and I moved the television to the den. No, no, you didn't mention it. Damn it, what was it? Uh, something about the Galapagos Islands. You know what? I'll try some of that. Yeah, the origin and destination of the voyage of the Beagle. That's right. Biology for six points. Good God, the pressure, all those lights, the money, those strange little booths, that man talking so fast like being in a bull ring. I don't think I could remember my name. Well, you know, I always had a good head for that kind of stuff. It's just amazing that you could make it look so easy. But your mother always said you were the actor in the family, Charlie. <laughs> what? As long as it doesn't interfere with your teaching, why not? Dad. Huh? What? Something on your mind? You never told me you felt pressure. You know, um, I finishing a book. Oh, are you kidding? When I was finishing the Hawthorne book, I tossed and turned so badly, your mother threatened to check into a hotel. Oh, sure. <laughs> you know, I think the old bird's finally getting the hang of this. You know, I, I just had the strongest memory. Coming home from school, going to the fridge, ice cold bottle of milk, a big piece of chocolate cake. It's just the simplicity of it. I, I can't think of anything that'll make me feel that happy again. Not till you have a son. <laughs> <laughs>